Bon Adrian Genot de Monsi or Genot de Monsi, first Duke of Canelliano, first Baron of Canelliano, Peer of France, the 31st of July 1754 to the 20th of April 1842, Marshal of France, was a prominent soldier in the French Revolutionary Wars and Napoleonic Wars. Later he became governor of the Hotel des Invalides, a home for veterans. Moncey is one of the names inscribed under the Arc de Triomphe on column 33. Biography He was born on 31 July 1754 in Police or Mansi, Dubes. His father was a lawyer from Boussançon. In his boyhood he twice enlisted in the French army, but his father procured his discharge on both occasions. His desire was at last gratified in 1778, when he received a commission. He was a captain when, in 1791, he embraced the principles of the French Revolution. Monsi won great distinction in the campaigns of 1793 and 1794 during the War of the Pyrenees, rising from the commander of a battalion to the commander-in-chief of the Army of the Western Pyrenees in a few months, and his successful operations were largely instrumental in compelling the Spanish government to make peace. After this he was employed in the highest commands until 1799, when the government, suspecting him of royalist views, dismissed him. From 1801 to 15 he was Inspector General of the Police. The coup d'état of 18 Brumaire in 1799 brought him back to the active list, and in Napoleon's Italian campaign of 1800 he led a corps from Switzerland into Italy, surmounting all the difficulties of bringing horses and guns over the then formidable Gothard Pass. In 1801, Napoleon made him Inspector General of the French Gendarmerie, and on the assumption of the imperial title created him a Marshal of France. In 1805 Monsi received the Grand Cordon of the Legion of Honour. In July 1808 he was made Duke of Canelliano, it was a Duché Grand Fief, a rare hereditary honour. The title was later confirmed under the Bourbon Restoration, and, since he had no surviving son, the Marshal was granted permission to pass it to his son-in-law with his newly granted title of Baron of Canelliano and Peer of France. The same year, the first of the Peninsular War, Monsi was sent to Spain in command of an army corps. He distinguished himself by his victorious advance on Valencia, but the effect of that was destroyed by Dupont's defeat at the Battle of Balen. Monsi then took a leading part in the Emperor's campaign on the Ebro and in the Second Siege of Saragossa in 1809. He refused to serve in the invasion of Russia, and therefore had no share in the campaign of the Grande Armée in 1812 and 1813. However, when France was invaded in 1814, Marshal Monsi reappeared in the field and fought the last battle for Paris on the heights of Montmartre and at the barrier of Clichy. In 1814 he supported Louis XVIII and was created a peer of France as Baron of Canelliano June 1814, confirmed in 1825. He remained neutral during Napoleon's return, the Hundred Days, feeling himself bound to Louis XVIII by his engagements as a peer of France, but after Waterloo he was punished for refusing to take part in the court martial of Marshal Ney by imprisonment and the loss of his martialate and peerage. The king returned his title of marshal in 1816, and he re-entered the Chamber of Peers three years later. He continued his military career, his last active service was as commander of an army corps in the short war with Spain in 1823. From 1833 to 1842, he became governor of the prestigious Hôtel des Invalides a home for veterans in Paris. Present at the return of Napoleon's body in December 1840, he said after the ceremony, Now, let's go home to die. He married Charlotte Prospere Rimolet (1761–1842), by whom he had three children. Anne Françoise (1791–1842), married to Louis Charles Berland de Chevigny, who was permitted by the king to add de Mancy to his surname in 1819. Bon Louis (1792–1817). Jean Francoise (1807–1853) married Alphonse Auguste de Chesny de Guillevoisin de Canelliano (1798–1878), second Baron de Guillevoisin and later second Duke of Canelliano and second Baron of Canelliano, who inherited his father-in-law's titles. 